This is a brief summary on how to use a sense reconstruction for simultaneous multi-slice imaging presented by Benjamin Zahneisen, Thomas Ernst and Benedikt Poser. We all know what an important part SMS acquisitions play in the neuroimaging world. It is now widely accepted that SMS sampling is most appropriately represented in 3D case space, which makes the reconstruction problem entirely equivalent to volumetric Fourier encoding. This allows us to treat in-plane and through-plane acceleration within the same reconstruction framework, and more specifically, a 2D sense reconstruction approach does not distinguish between slices and in-plane directions. If we decide to use a 3D case-based representation, then the sampling pattern in KY, KZ space is given by the in-plane acceleration, the number of simultaneously excited slices and the chi-p blip pattern that is used to sample the KZ direction. Here we see an example of four slices acquired with chi-p factor 2 in two-fold in-plane acceleration. The sampling pattern then yields the aliasing pattern in the image domain, that is, the slice in Y direction by two-dimensional Fourier transform. The voxel indices for each sense subproblem are given by a shifted version of the aliasing pattern. We implemented 2D sense as a single step solution for SMS reconstructions and compared it to the de facto gold standard, the slice scrapper method. We further demonstrate the generality of 2D sense by using exactly the same reconstruction pipeline for both an SMS and a volumetric 3D chi dataset. Here we see the sampling pattern for two-fold in-plane and four-fold multiband acceleration with a chi shift of 2 again. The total acceleration factor is 8, resulting in 8 distinct peaks in the aliasing pattern. The chi shift factor of 2 nicely distributes the aliased voxels over all slices and along the y directions, which, which brings down the g-factor. Comparing slice grapper and 2D sense, there are virtually no differences between the two reconstructions. This is an example for multiband factor 8 and chi -p shift of 3, no additional in-plane acceleration. These parameter choices highlight a more technical aspect of the sense implementation. The case-based sampling pattern must allow for a periodic extension along all dimensions in order to result in distinct peaks in the image domain. For 8 slices and chi -p factor 3, this is not the case. Adding a dummy slice creates a sense-compatible reconstruction problem the extra slice is removed in a post-processing step. And finally, we applied exactly the same reconstruction pipeline for blip chi -P epi and volumetric 3D EPI. For matched field of view and chi -P shift, we can see that the blip chi -P sampling pattern is a subset of the 3D EPI case space coverage. This implies that exactly the same voxel locations fold onto each other, which yields identical g-factor maps for the volumetric and blip chi -P acquisitions. This demonstrates once more the flexibility of the 3D case space representation of SMS sampling. In conclusion, we would like to point out that 2D Sense is conceptually simple and easy to implement. It is applicable to a wide range of volumetric and SMS reconstructions. This allows for a comparison of SMS and 3D EPI without the reconstruction bias. Using Sense might be beneficial for stark contrast differences between the calibration and the accelerated scan. But considering all aspects, it's more a matter of individual taste whether one chooses Sense over Grappa or vice versa. This also holds for SMS imaging.